one of the quotes I'm very familiar with is that about, and this is about luck. And they said, the quote is that luck is when opportunity meets with preparation. All right. So I want to connect this with purpose. Because from everything that you've spoken about, you said to identify your purpose, you need to go to your source. And I believe, and I know you're a strong believer, and that's why you said to go back to your to your maker. So my question, my question is that is there a portion of this that's not highly spiritual? Because I believe sometimes that when you do something repetitively, it becomes who you are, it becomes your character, it becomes your identity. So if, for example, if, if, if I'm a fashion designer, for example, and I design outfits and I keep doing it and I do it for like a span of 50 years, 15 years, and people see me do it for 15 years. Now, if people see me, all they want to, if they want to do business with me, all they have in mind is, okay, he's a fashion designer and this is what he does. And now that's all I want to do with him. Now, what I'm trying to bring out is, is that a function of you identifying something and then constantly doing it over time? Or is it something that you just have to identify with your source, your creator, and, or maybe at some point, they both have to come together. You understand my question? Definitely and then, is there a timing on this thing? Because I don't want people to get this confused that, oh, I'm 25 years, I haven't found my purpose. I'm, I'm 30 years, I haven't found my purpose. I'm 44, there are 40, 55 people that are walking around and, and it's almost like they're still confused. So is there a timing to this thing? So people don't get this thing wrong. Okay. Um, you know, this is part of what I do on my trainings, you know, and I get this a lot, trust me. And I'm going to use myself as a practical example. Growing up, I never had mentors, like I said earlier. Before. So I evolved over time. I evolved over time. Mm -hmm. But it was because when I started having mentors, that was when I started discovering who I am. But, but internally, I had it in me but I did not know how to manifest it. I did not know how to go about it. And that is why I always said, the peak of what I do is I help people to unleash their potentials. Mm -hmm. So in discovering your purpose, now I'm gonna give you some insight towards it now. Remember when I said earlier on, people would have told you, you are a good singer, mm -hmm. you're a good writer, mm -hmm. you're a good speaker. Mm -hmm. That is one thing they have seen in you. Mm -hmm. But however, you have to know that appearance is not reality. They might be telling you you are good in it, but that is not who you are. That can be a part of what they've seen in you. Mm -hmm. Because I always tell people that if the whole world is telling you you can do it, and you know you cannot do it, you will fail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the whole world is telling you you cannot do it, and you know you can do it, you will succeed because he that is in you is mm -hmm. greater and stronger than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it comes down to the bottom line of you knowing yourself, knowing what is so unique about you. Mm -hmm. Right. So that is one area. So another area, again, that you can use to really know the but is also by, like I said, going back to your creator. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, what is it that you've made me for? Reveal yourself to me. Trust me. It will come to you. Mm -hmm. God does not come in in form of angel. He comes in form of human beings. Mm -hmm. Right. He might create you that opportunity for you to discover that. And what's that opportunity? He might give you a mentor, or you might come in with a mentor, you might give you as a, as a friend, it mm -hmm. could be an acquaintance that one opportunity will literally open your eyes. Let me share more insight with you. I started writing um, articles, but I didn't know I was a good writer. Over time, I then developed that skill in writing, and then now I now love writing. Mm -hmm. I do public speaking, but I didn't know that I can do this effectively, that it is just me. But over time, when I started doing it, and I started having more energy, when I was in New York Law School, I was studying taxation. Why? Because my dad told me, study this course will make money out of it. But I finished it, I never liked it. Mm -hmm. I got jobs that would pay me double of what I'm paying right now. I turned them down because that whole energy was not in me. I left it for what I literally loved. 
You know, so even the mother told me, I know that that, that is not me. And that's why I left it. And all everything I've been doing is about human empowerment. I'm not big on finance. It's not me. So it's a process that people need to come in. You have to come to that realization of who am I? Not what people say, because that is their perception. Your perception is not by reality. I know myself, okay? But sometimes people allow peer pressure, they like environment, they like parental influence. It's a lot that comes into consideration. Mm-hmm. That's why I said the journey of purpose is huge. Everyone's case is literally different. And the only way I can define this is by comparing purpose with marriage. Every marriage is unique. So everyone's purpose is, is different. So being able to understand their purpose, you have to apply what I call emotional intelligence. We deal with human relations, social awareness, human management, and empathy. So you, you have to understand people. You have to meet them where they are. What are those things that has gone through their, through their life journey from when they were a little kid to when they become of age? What are those journeys that has gone through them? These are sort of things that you can use to know people because it's not easy for people to come to you to tell you their life problem. Everyone has gone through so many challenges. There was a young lady I met on Instagram. You know, she went through a very hard, um, a very major surgery. And she came up. I told her, look, this might be a message God has given to you. Because <laughs> nobody believed she would survive that surgery. So I gave her my book. I said, you know what? You have to work on this. And she said, I've never heard of this before. Because God might give you a challenge that he will want you to not develop as a cause you're passionate about. And then you will not be like, oh, I never thought about it. Because why? Your challenges, your trials, your challenges, all that has transpired with you can point to a particular direction which you did not even know. So it's a lot that comes with purpose. So it's a small itself that people need to go through to understand the dynamics that comes with it. True. And there's no particular timing attached to this. There's, no, the there's no timing. Program. It's only on very few occasions that you can see it. Like people like Michael Jackson. Who's in Houston? We all know they can dance, they can sing, mm-hmm. because we live in a we live in a um we, we live in a civilized world. But if we go back to Africa and some remote countries, you might not have these opportunities coming up because the yeah, country, true. Yeah, absolutely power. true. Mm-hmm. You know, so everybody's case is different. It's only one or two who have been so creative with their talent that they come up. School is not for everybody. Mm-hmm. Trust me, school is not for everyone. Mm-hmm. For people, most people don't get it. Yeah, school is good. Some people are meant to be entrepreneurs. Some mm-hmm. people who are meant to be in, in the corporate world. Some mm-hmm. people are meant to serve. Everybody' case is different. All you need to do is walk in that line that you have been destined to mm-hmm. walk in, mm-hmm. and then you will be the best version of yourself. Mm-hmm. That is all that matters. And then you will see that the difference is literally clear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. School is truly not for everyone, just like you said. I think school is just a safe cushion to fall back on if you if you try out being an entrepreneur if you try out being a musician if you try this thing because everything's like trial and error especially if you're like going for your dreams there is no 100 percent chance that they will get it but a lot of people choose the the most especially like african parent they're like okay just go to school and study being a banker become an engineer because they know that okay if you have your certificates if you become a music artist and you don't blow up as you have dreamed of or as you have projected, then at least you have something to fall back on. So that's why a lot of people give a lot of African parents now and maybe Asian parents, you know, they always push their kids towards at least going to school as that safe option. And and I'm not surprised about you turning down the jobs that even pay you double, you know, what you make uh, being a humanitarian because I believe you're very passionate about people. And usually I believe the, the, the reward comes when you keep doing what you're passionate about. And I believe that's why you are going in that route. 